EasyMorph is an excellent data preparation tool for finance and cost management. During the closing process, you often need to generate P&L statements on the spot to obtain key figures. Creating a customised presentation like this for an income statement isn't easy to achieve with business intelligence tools like Power BI or Tableau. Why? Because it's not just a simple cross-tabulation. Numerous specific subtotals are involved. To generate an updated income statement like this, you'll require data from three sources. Firstly, the general ledger. It records all financial transactions, detailing debits and credits by account number and date. Exporting it from your accounting software is simple. Often, it's in a delimited text format like CSV files. Secondly, the chart of accounts. It's an organized list of company accounts classified into assets, liabilities, equity, revenue, and expenses. However, for our purpose, we'll focus on revenue and expense accounts. We'll introduce a field to link the general ledger's account numbers with our custom income statement line. Thirdly, we'll incorporate a key to guide EasyMorph in calculating subtotals and the total. Following EasyMorph's terms, we'll refer to the income statement lines as the primary key and the lines to be summed as the parent key. So these three lines have to be summed to get the total sales, etc. In the real life, we avoid using text when you want to merge fields, so the table will look much more like this one. Let's explore this in practice using EasyMorph. First, we load the three sources with a simple drag and drop. Next, we'll apply various transformations to the data. I'll start by summarizing the general ledger data by account number. Then, I'll perform a left join between the chart of accounts and the general ledger based on the account number. After that, I'll summarize the data using an SQL group by operation, grouping it by the lines of the income statement. Following the structure of my P&L report, I'll perform a join to retrieve the corresponding amounts. At this stage, we'll have access to the detailed information, but not the subtotals. This is where the roll-up transformation comes into play. The subtotals and the grand total have been added. I just need to do some final cleanup. I'll remove the parent key field, rename primary key, and then I'm ready to export to Excel. Whenever I want to refresh the data, a simple reload and run will suffice.